Hello, Jamalov here, and here's what's happened previously in Let's Play Blade Runner. What Scooza got you doing tonight? AM at Runsitters. Animal murder. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Runciter hanging around with a big fat guy last week. You know this girl or not? Okay. Maybe seen her once. <laughs> Rumor has it you've been earning your stripes, McCoy. Working on it. Keep it up. You just might have a future in this business. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed that little recap I edited together. And now we continue with the story of Blade Runner with the opening cinematic for Act 2. Got your delivery here, man. Uh, what? Kingston Kitchen. Oh yes, right. Hold on. Is this what the gravity be like on Mars? Oh no. It's about a third of what we got here on Terra. Real company. How about turning that dial, okay? When I say... Oh! Please, can you control your rats? I'll have you know that Ricky's a purebred chihuahua, and he's totally real. Things going good at Tyrell Corporation? Boring, boring. Old man Tyrell's been on a Wagner kick lately. He never shuts up. You also do outside work? Sweetie, I never go outside. It's bad for the glands. How about Nexus 6? You know a lot about them? I think you should be going now. <laughs> Understand good if it holds deep meaning for me now. Where be your research on Nexus 6? I need test studies, contacts, the works. Only civic leader. Extra terrestrial gravity. One more minute, you be swallowing this explosive. Three more minutes, they be hosing you off the true life building across town. Oh, I swear! I don't have anything. If I did, I'd give it to you. My people sick and dying. You tell me something. Talk to Dr. Tyrell. Tell me something I don't know. The organ designers, uh, Maraji, Hannibal Chu, Luther and Lance, they're closer to him than I am. Where? DNA Row. They're all working down on DNA Row. You one miserable package, man. No! No, please, don't! Pick up. Hope you aren't camped out there with a bottle of tequila. Oh, very funny. Early bird slays the worm, McCoy. Don't worry, I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Inside? That's right. But we also got a sweet little break at it. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the Runcenter deal or not. Tyrell security will have the disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. Alright, so looks like we are going to the Tyrell building to investigate a new case. Eisendollar murder. Alright, not much else to it but to just head on out. Maggie, come here girl. 
Let's feed Maggie before we leave. No real reason to do it, but... Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Just for fun. Your floor number, please. As I played the Act 1, I, uh, I get incredibly excited about this game. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm so happy I'm finally, finally playing this. I've been planning to let's play this for quite some time and I'm happy I'm finally doing it. This is, uh, it made me remember how much I liked this game. Uh, I, I like Blade Runner the movie so much that it's, it's not even, not even funny. <laughs> and uh, this, uh, as a as a license license game based on that movie license, this is uh, extremely well done. Really, really like it. All these uh, all these awesome scenes. How uh, how well uh, how well they have taken uh, taken the looks of the movie and. Uh, Outstanding. McCoy, LPD. Uh, yeah, just a minute. Where do I go? Grav tests on the east wing, 66th floor. Uh, here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendooler ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. Hmm, all right, we uh, better get the detective face on here instead of a gamer who loves the game. And um, hmm, what's that? The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me, like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Animoid Row. Animoid Row is where Deckard went with. That uh, scale he thought was a fish scale, but it was a snake scale, and he ta talked to that uh, fisher lady and then the, then the man who sold the snake. It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series, the kind of glossy hype that ends up littering the floor at trade shows. This one was for the new entertainment model, a comedian designed to entertain the troops off-world. Entertainment model. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed, not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? Hmm. I couldn't even begin to guess what Eisendahler's password was. Well, that means that we can somehow get it, probably. Let's go uh, see inside. Jesus. i seen worse, but not by much. Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. Huh. This hearing yours? Maybe it belongs to that other cop who was up here, the babe with the shades and the cigarettes. Ain't her style. Call her babe to her face, you're liable to end up with a severe limp. Crystal was here. Ah, that's probably something I forgot to mention in the, in the Act 1. Because the NPC uh, investigators and other NPCs, they kind of work in the background as well. So we have this uh, factory bombing case that uh, Crystal is investigating. And obviously we have a possible replicant explosives expert in this murder working. So they are probably connected. And it uh, seems that uh, Crystal has already, already been here. And we learned about the moon bus hijacking from Gaff. I checked with you and Air. Looks your rep swung that moon bus massacre last month. They ever find the moon bus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. So, um, uh, that's how they probably got to, uh, got to Terra from the off-world colonies. Lightning Squad, rep unit. Battle of the Gemini. Yeah, 
Yeah, we got uh, Zubin's photo uh, when I uh, when I shot him. But uh, let's uh, focus on the evidence at hand then. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. Hmm. So uh, that's... Uh, the dogs were killed as well. What can we learn from the body? Obviously he'd been killed with an explosive, and not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story. The killer was an expert. The charge had been big enough to do the job, but not big enough to shatter the soundproof walls of the float chamber. But I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. Hmm. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. Yeah, that's that's what the murderer murderer was using. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last twenty four hours, and I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. Oh, that's a... oh, that's small. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe. Password, maybe. You spot anything you think I ought to know about? Tell me. Absolutely. I'd love to get one of those. All right, we got the security disc, so we can analyze that. Those were the dogs. I don't think there was anything else. Well, it's not directly related to the case, but uh, I can't uh, can't resist of drawing this. Eisendoller had used his dog's name as a password. The Tyrell Brass wouldn't be too happy if they knew I was snagging a copy of their files, but someone had wanted them bad enough to kill Eisendoller, so I figured they must be worth having. You are probably right, Ray. Probably right. Lagging behind again? Guza didn't say anything about me working with a partner. Oh, <laughs> in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. Hmm. How's yours connected to mine? I'm still fitting the pieces together. You know the moon bus massacre that went down last month? Gaff mentioned something about it. The rogue skin jobs probably flew to Earth. And one of them is a demolitions expert, similar MO to your Vic upstairs. Hell of a coincidence. I'll call you if I find out anything more about your case. You do that, Crystal. You know if anyone lost an earring like this one lately? Not one of the employees, that's for sure. The boss enforces a strict dress code around here. How did Eisendeller's moo moo fit in? <laughs> hey, you know, company rules only apply to the lesser mortals. <laughs> okay, so we have two, uh, two significant clues, I think. Kingston Kitchen's takeaway box and now this, uh, now this, uh, Dragonfly jewelry. You friendly with Eisendeller? Most of the employees I see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus... I mean, uh, Dr. Eisendoller. He almost never left his lab. He afraid of somebody? I think it had something to do with the air outside and the germs. I once heard him complain about it. Smart. What was his job? Grav test chief engineer. The lab runs tests to see how a replicant would perform in different planetary gravitational fields. That kind of thing. One of the other engineers could tell you more. All right. How do I get in to see the big boss? You don't, unless he wants to see you. Okay. How do I make him want to see me? Well, you could call his personal assistant. Who is? Don't know, offhand. Yeah, I get the picture. Hmm. You know anything about Tyrell's computer system? Security is tight as a drum, if that's what you're asking. Somebody tried to access restricted data from the terminal in Dr. Eisendeller's office. But they couldn't get in. Yeah. Looks like Dr. Tyrell keeps his files safer than he keeps his employees. 
And yeah, well that's and someone got in with five letter password. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. But it's probably a good idea not to tell the security guard about it. Okay, so this is uh, just the lobby. I think what I need to do is go and investigate or analyze that uh, video disc. Uh, see if I can get a visual on the visual and a hard copy of the of the killer. And uh, I can go to the Animoid Row now, but I think I will take a look at that photo first. I could go to Animoid Row because I found the dragonfly. Yeah. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Kingston Kitchens. Where have I heard that before? Can't really tell, Ray. It's probably in Animoid Row, or we will get uh, another location. Ground floor. Don't think I was here in the ground floor before. Let's see if uh, if Gusa has something uh, something for us. Can I talk to you? Hey, pal. That that's how you greet your fellow officer. Hey, pal. <laughs> hmm. Request Tyrell meeting. The goons over at the Tyrell building wouldn't let me talk to their boss. Maybe you can set up a meeting. Anyone else in that whole company who knows anything? <laughs> you and I both know it's a one-man show over there. I'll give it a try, kid. I'll have to pull some strings, so don't go in there half-assed. Make sure you got some legit questions for the resident genius. Appreciate it, Lieutenant. I can get some money. Can the department float me some chin yen? This investigation's getting expensive. Look, this ain't on the department tab, okay? This is a personal loan. Thanks, Lieutenant. This goddamn city don't know how to manage funds. They've been flush for years. I thought we were under budget. Trust me, ain't nobody getting rich unless they're sneaking some on the side. Hell, I can barely pay for the fuel for my car. Ever hear of public transportation? Get out of here before I throw my desk at you. <laughs> well, before that, let's report in. Bryant, go on permanent leave and you get full use of the office, Lieutenant? You'd be amazed at how accommodating a man can be after his hemorrhoids get lanced. You've really been surprising the troops around here, kid. Gaff says you worked at retirement like a champ. Just doing the job. Yeah, well, don't get too cocky. Those sixes can be damn unpredictable. That, I know. But I'm proud of you, McCoy. Why don't you take the rest of the day off? Thanks. Payments is wiring the advance to your account as we speak. How much? Couple hundred chinion. Enough to buy a sandwich or two. We gotta hold back the rest until the lab does the autopsy. Paperwork, you know. Shouldn't take more than a couple of days. So, the check's in the mail? Hey, don't worry. The boys upstairs want to keep our best and brightest happy. Any idea what you want to spend it on? I was thinking maybe a companion for my animal at home. Forget that. Buy yourself something, something nice. Once you start carving up that juicy bacon, kid, the taste never goes away. The great things in life, believe me, you'll just be wanting more and more. <laughs> Get out of here before I throw my desk at you. Get out of here before I throw my desk at you. Hmm. Anything else? Bryant, go on permanent leave and you get full use of the office, Lieutenant. You know the proceed. You got it. All right. There's something, uh, something there on Goose's table. 
Oh yeah, I can't help but be a bit nosy about it. Hey, that's Crystal. Hey! You're horning into my action, rookie. Take a stroll. Huh. Well, I did get the rest of the day off, but uh, I think I will go take a look at that... Uh, take a look at that video first. Main frame and shooting range. Maybe, uh, maybe have the a Tyrell goal. Corporation today recalled the last four functioning entertainment model Nexus 5 replicants from off-world service. Dr. Eldon Tyrell, speaking at a shareholders meeting, denied allegations that the model was defective and possibly dangerous. The simple fact is that the model wasn't performing its designated function. There was one isolated incident of violence a couple of years ago, but the individual unit in question was immediately retired from service. No, the problem is far from anything sinister. The entertainment model just isn't funny. <laughs> well, that is a problem. Alright, let's see uh, if we can pull out an image from that disk. Scanning video disk. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Tyrell Grav Test Lab. Alright, let's uh, zoom in on the face. Enhance, move in, pan left. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Give me a hard copy of that. Right, so uh, another, another means to get that same clue, in addition to getting the suspect's photo. But we also learned about the dragonfly. So, uh, he probably dropped it. Well, I did see that ankle bracelet shaped like a dragonfly from Lucy. But uh, I doubt Lucy was at, uh, at the Tyrell building. Of course, possibility if all these replicants work together. Can I see the bomb? Move in. Bad right. A bomb. Give me a hard copy of that. <laughs> right, we knew about that already. Can I see the color here as well? Yes, I can. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Give me a hard copy of that. This is uh, quite quite common in this game. I uh, I remember these uh, surprisingly well. I uh, the, um, you can get the same clues by uh, different means. Uh, I can do it here from the photo. I uh, was able to find the color itself in the scene. Uh, either of those would uh, would give me access to that computer. And I think same thing with this uh, lunchbox. I found it already at the scene. I see it here in the box. And sure enough. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. Give me a hard copy of that. So uh, that's uh, that's something for us to move forward with. The dragonfly and the Kingston Kitchen lunchbox. There might be something else here, but uh, maybe I'll look look into it later if needed. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Now we uh, uploaded our evidence into the machine and downloaded whatever, uh, for example, Crystal has been investigating. Right, let's look at those evidence we got now. So we have the photo of the suspect. 
It was done with explosives. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story. The killer was an expert. The charge had been big enough to do the job, but not big enough to shatter the soundproof walls of the float chamber. But I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. But more importantly, we also got the dragonfly earring that will lead us to the animoid crow. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me, like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. And then we have the Kingston Kingston Kitchen uh, delivery box. Kingston Kitchens? Where have I heard that before? So that's something uh, we can move forward with. But uh, then when I downloaded, uh, downloaded the evidence from the main frame, I got some things that Crystal has been doing. Interviewing someone named Gregorian. This is Crystal Steel badge number BR61354, conducting the interrogation of Spencer Gregorian, leader of CARS, Citizens Against Replicant Slavery, November 22nd, 2019. I once again asked that my attorney... Shut it, shitbird. I'm asking the questions. We've already put you on the machine, so we know you're not a skin job. That term offends me. Okay, so you're not one of those biomechanical scumbags. And you claim to not know anything about the bombing at Tyrell. This is true. We advocate equal rights under the law for replicants. We have nothing against Tyrell Corporation for creating them. That's some sick logic. The replicants are living organisms, whether people like you like it or not. Replicants contribute greatly to the economic well-being of our culture. They cannot be discounted as such. Hell, it'd be no skin off my nose if each and every one of them was hosed down for good. You ever see this guy? Why, yes. Actually, I have. He was present at the protest. He's not part of our group, but outsiders are usually welcome. How many new faces showed up that day? Not too many. A handful at most. Describe them to me. I don't know if I can. Oh, no. Recording off. Hmm? Describe them to me again. Just the Rastafarian fellow. And that, that friend of his. A slim blonde man, Asian, with, with a ponytail. Can I see my attorney? Bravo, Spencer. You've done your civic duty for the day. <laughs> Interesting interviewing uh, or interrogation techniques from <laughs> from Crystal. Too. Hmm. So the bomber was there, and then there was a slim Asian man with a ponytail. Hmm. And they are connected to the moon bus hijacking. Hmm. What did this note say? This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Still working the explosion at the Tyrell manufacturing plant. It'll take a day or so to analyze the debris, but there's no doubt in my mind that we're dealing with a bomber here. Right now, it looks like the protesters had nothing to do with it. They were in too close proximity to have been in on the deal. No MOs or identities are rolling up just yet, and I'm still going through the inset files to see if any replicant munitions experts are unaccounted for. Right. I think I will uh, go see if I can get anything out from the lab, and I think this uh, Spencer Gregorian that Crystal has been interrogating is in the lockup at the basement of the station. But I'll go tell later. Well, if it ain't Ray McCoy, Bryant finally letting you play with the big boys. My clearance come through? You bet. You bring your piece? Don't leave home without it. Steele's been running the maze every other day for two weeks, and the targets are getting a little roughed up. I thought Guza was going to requisition some new ones. I ain't seen him down here in a month. Guess he's been busy. Poor guy. I bet he gets all tuckered out from pushing those papers around. And don't sell him short, McCoy. Goose could be one tough hombre. I remember when we worked mice together. He poured acetone on two pimps that gave us some lip and lit a match. I, I tell you, it looked like the goddamn Fourth of July out there. Peachy. All right. So uh, Goose plays plays it hard. I'm not sure if I find that particularly funny. Beams or not. We get a new weapons shipment? Yeah, Guza requisitioned a couple of cases for the assault teams. Let me guess. He's planning on taking out a small city. 
Lieutenant's a big believer in overkill. Hmm. Can I get some of those weapons? I've gotten all I can from that. No? That weapon shipment just came in. You got the paperwork handy? Why? You got a pressing need to rummage through my private files? Yeah, I forgot you were keeping your lacy under things in there. Look, Jack, I just want to see what they're charging for a crate of rifles these days. Too damn much if you ask me, especially at the rate the assault teams are losing them. I guess there ain't no harm in it. Hmm. All right, thanks for that. Right, but uh, what this place is, is the shooting range, and here I can practice shooting, and uh, since Kusa did give me a day off, I think, uh, I think I will spend it here in the shooting range. And um, I guess I can just go in, right? Hmm. 